Hello and good morning. I'd like to introduce you to my pet hair. It lives here and it lives everywhere. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> yep. So yes, my hair looks a little funky. Um, it is currently still in my Medusa clipping from last night. If you're not sure what Medusa clipping is, I will link my tutorial to um, Sleeping Curly Protective Styles Medusa clipping below. Check it out if you're not familiar with Medusa clipping, but that is what my hair is in. And I figured I'm going to jump on here today. I'm gonna to do a day two refresh with you um, along with a quick makeup get ready with me. I had a few people on Instagram um, asking about this particular look. Really quick, if you are not subscribed, go slam that subscribe button, hit that bell while you're at it. I do not want you to miss a thing. And there's a link to my Instagram in the description as well. Wink, wink. I'm not good at that. Wink, wink, nod, nod. Oh, no, it should be. <laughs> yeah, it's below in the description. <laughs> They're just little clips that I got from the dollar store. When I take my hair out of the protective sleeping style, I just like to let it set for a few minutes and then kind of evaluate. Um, once your hair's gotten a chance to like relax, it's a little bit easier to see what's going on. So while this is setting, I'm gonna do my makeup and then we'll come back and finish the hair. <laughs> if you don't wanna watch makeup, I'll include the timestamp below of when you can jump to the refresh. I'm gonna start with my Skin to See face cream. So moisturizing and it also doubles as a makeup primer. Getting about this much. I do that about four times, so it's really a small amount. Next. I'm still going to add this Cover FX Illuminating Primer. I really like it because it has a lot of shimmer. I'm gonna use the Lancome Skin Feels Good. Um, I have it in 2C Blonde. This was actually sent to me through Influencer and I actually really like it. So it's just like a tinted moisturizer. And keep in mind, I'm not a professional makeup artist. <laughs> My sister is the makeup artist of my family and she just keeps me not sucking. Then I come in with a damp beauty blender and just press in. So then I like to jump to my eyes. <laughs> I know. Um, so I'm gonna be using two stacks today. They are both from Melt. I'm using two colors from the Rust stack and then quite a few colors from the Hopeless Romantic stack. Start with it is antique from the rust stock a sephora tapered crease brush number 19. just dabbing it in and then i'm going to go in at the crease and i like to go out towards my eyebrow a little bit just to give that illusion of a cat eye kind of a natural flow like you want to be right like kind of under your brow bone. It's okay if this color goes up a little bit, but you can kind of follow it and then there's like a natural flow that this can come out. Jumping to the Hopeless Romantic stack and I am using Scammon. And we're just gonna do the exact same thing. Okay, so now we're gonna grab, it's like another tapered brush, but it's a little bit narrower. This is actually a Morphe brush. M504. Now we're gonna use main squeeze. So what we're doing with this is now we're just gonna go in at the crease, but we're going below this color. We're not gonna be blending it up. You're just dabbing it in, again, same thing, and then tapping out excess. Coming in at the crease. And blending in. And we're just doing the like corners in a round. You wanna leave this space open on your eyelid. All right, now we're gonna go back in with this brush. We're not gonna put any color on it. We're just going to kind of blend at the crease a bit. Now I'm just gonna drag this underneath up. I'm using an Urban Decay like flat shadow brush and I'm going to be applying Crush. 
from the Hopeless Romantic stack. We're just applying that right in the center. Hi, Chloe. So now I'm just taking this fluffy brush and I'm just going to really blend everything. What do you think? Just kidding. <laughs> so next, I'm gonna do my eyebrows and just get those out of the way. Um, I use um, a European wax brow powder. I don't know the name of it. It's come off from the bottom, but it's got two tones in here. I use the deeper of the two. It's like this brown's got a little bit of a red undertone. And then I just use an angled brush. So I first like to create this line down here. So I'll just press it and we'll blend it up. I like to kind of brush these brows down to make sure that like even the tips of them get coated. So I'll brush them all down first. This down just a little bit. I have lacking a teeny bit of a tail on that side. So then once I've gotten all of the color on my brows and I've gotten the shape pretty much how I want it, I then go back and I brush everything up. I brush these ones kind of out. And then this corner up and at an angle. I like to always finish them off with a gel. I've been using NYX Control Freak. And I always brush up. So I'm just going to contour a bit. I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Palette. It's a multitask brush from Real Techniques just fluffy so I get as much on there as I can tap and then I just come in I pinch it together follow that natural line blend up just start right here and then kind of pat, and then I'll stop about right there. Do it on both sides. And then I just like tap my brush. I don't like to pull it down, so I'll tap my brush in a few strokes to like press the, the color there. And then just kind of keep going down. You should see a natural like highlight going down your nose, you want to do it just to the side of that and you want to do it on the top of your nose. You don't want to do it on the side. Now onto the beloved step <laughs> highlight. I am using the Melt Cosmetic Gold Ore. This is so shiny. I absolutely love this highlight. To use, um, it's a duo fiber. It's a contour brush actually, um, but I like it for highlight. <laughs> so I do like a cheek highlight go from here up to the corner of my eye yeah nose I like to have a really narrow highlight so I have just been using this it's really small little brush and then you just go right down the center and I haven't been going all the way down I've been going about half the length both sides and then at the lip. Next up is blush. I have been using the new blush lights from Melt Cosmetics. <laughs> this is Lynx. I'm just using a blush brush. Dab, tap. As I like to go back in with my beauty blender and I just like to kind of tap to make sure that everything is blended. Okay, mascara. I've been using the Buxom Big Tees. It's at a lip. I'm gonna use the Melt On The Go lipstick, but you can do a lip gloss, colored lipstick, anything you want. This is just a good nude. And that is that. So let's have a look at this hair. It is all settled. So I think my hair actually looks pretty good for day two. Um, I do want to walk you through what I do to refresh um, when I just use water only. So the cool thing with this is we just have to kind of spot refresh, which I like. Um, 
yeah, so let's get going. So I have my brand new Curly Girl Vibes Flarisol. Look at this. Yeah, look at that spray. <laughs> I'm just gonna go through and pick pieces that like particularly bother me. Like this, we'll start here. So I'm just going to, it's my first time using it. Oh, just a little spray. And then we're just going to pull and then we're going to scrunch. And it needs a little bit more water. You do not want to soak, you just want to like saturate. Don't be afraid to like clip your hair out of the way as you kind of work around your curls. So like this whole chunk, I just like, no. So I'm just gonna spray the whole section at the same time. I'm being a little bit of chicken with that sprayer. And then scrunch, but this is a good time to finger coil. If you like to finger coil, it just helps tighten up that curl. I'm gonna do one more spritz and then scrunch. already bouncing back I'm not really gonna worry about the back um, I feel like if I can't see it it's a good time to give it a break push any frizz in with your fingertips So now you can choose to air dry or you can diffuse. My hair will be dry in a few minutes, but I always like to diffuse because I like the boost of volume that I get. Plus, I just don't like waiting to air dry at all. <laughs> so I'm gonna diffuse and I will check back in with you as soon as I am done. All right, I am fully dry. I hope you can see the difference and how my curls are laying with that little bit of water, like those few that were straight. So don't be afraid of just using only water to refresh, I'm telling you. It works, it's moisture, and it's what makes your curl bounce back. <laughs> so the last thing I like to do is fluff, and you can just use your fingertips, or you can use a scalp massager. I get asked all the time, Bed Bath & Beyond, Farewell scalp massager, less than $5, maybe a little bit more after tax. <laughs> so I'm gonna start with my fingertips. Just loosen everything up again. There we go. <laughs> Volume, just how I like it. My hair is getting so long, it's a little weird. <laughs> There you have it, day two, water only, refresh and makeup routine. Let me know in the comments down below if this helped you out in any ways. Um, thank you so much for coming back to my channel. If you're new here, I was so glad to have you and I hope to see you back soon. But before you go, make sure you slam that subscribe button, hit that bell so that you do not miss a thing and I will see you all next time. Bye. <laughs>